Okay, say so your name and your birth information in case I want to refer to it. My name is Don Soro. My birth information is 51351. 12949, it's been rectified. Munich, Germany. Uh, what else would you like? And five, you mean May? Yeah, I do indeed. Okay, I'm just double checking. Yep. Yeah, well, so we can just talk about whatever interests you. This other guy was talking about what he was interested in. So, yeah, we could just catch up some. Uh, a lot of water under the bridge since uh, 80 and 84. Yeah. That's some of what I've been doing in the meantime. It's referring to when the constellation Draco stood at the summit of heaven. And all the cultures that go back that far in time have stories about a great flying serpent going around and around. But why don't you say the name of it so we have it here. What's the name of the book? The name of the book is When the Dragon Wore the Crown. It is available uh, through Amazon. Um, it's 35 years worth of work, center and circle. I'm taking the North Celestial Pole and the East Vernal Equinox mm -hmm. and showing how different cultures wove those two images together, for instance, in the Caduceus. That's a nicely produced book. Uh, I, spent, color I spent a lot of time on it. And money. That's uh, a lot. Yes. Mm -hmm. cool. So, this is my... Processionally, these are no longer the same sky pictures. But that's what that's what these cultures. I'll show you one more thing. Sure. That's what these cultures are into, and I jump around what am I looking at here? from from culture to culture. Oh wow! And I don't stick with the Egyptians and then move on. Uh -huh. I come back and well, I come back good. and I come back and I'm weaving uh -huh. uh, the similarities. Right. So, as, which you and I know they were into, but True. some of the world doesn't. <laughs> so what I want to talk about. Um, well, I don't know. You want to go into something contemporary, like Uranus going into Taurus, or whatever. You want to talk about Trump? No, <laughs> I don't want to talk about Trump. Good. I mean, it's a, um, nothing to say that isn't obvious. So, I mean, he, do you think he'll make it through? He might. That's a horrible thought because he's that clever and he's that bold. Uh, I hope not. I hope they take him out or retire him one way or the other. Amen. I, I hope it comes um, through the justice system. It would be better that way. It would but be much better that way. Any way that it comes would be okay for me. I mean, he's a terrible detriment to us, other than he's a good reflection of us. Yeah, he is, unfortunately. So, and he, the joke I make of that is that he's like the Pied Piper. He, he drew all the vermin out of our culture until we can see it. Now, if you'd only run him off a cliff for us. <laughs> With him at the head. That's right. Well, yeah, he's the first to go. So, yeah. But let's not talk about him anymore. Okay, let's not. Um, well, or you can uh, ask me questions about I'm, I'm very curious in what kind of, any kind of fixed star research you might have been doing. Well, in 1976, I published Astrophysical Directions, which is now called Astrology of Space. So it had a lot of, you know, you know, I plotted all the, you know, I'm just looking at, let me just find a couple things in there. Those are not in a big hurry. I'm, yeah, no. I'm just here. I was just copying some of this stuff out. I'm not used to this laptop. You're not used to? A laptop. Oh. Just where do I find, uh, hang on a second, I'll, I'll give this a little bit. Okay, so first, I, years ago, I did the, um, I made these maps in the early 70s. Well, I don't think I saw it. And published them, uh, but then I went on to make digital wow. maps. Beautiful. Here. So, and I, I did them both, oh, this is just something else, which is talking about how important the Pleiades is, not just as a group of stars that's visible, but that it represents the intersection of the galactic and the supergalactic equators. The two greatest, all the matter that is are in two basic directions that are roughly 90 degrees apart. The galaxy, center of the galaxy, center of the supergalaxy, and early Libra, late Virgo. So this was just about that, but that's not what I'm, anyway, just it made different kinds of maps. I'm just gonna flip through some. So, 
in that book. You, are you aware of that book? I am not. Oh, that's too bad, because no. that was published in 76. A number of people made their living on that. For a while they gave me credit, then they Astrology in Inner Space? What was the name Astrology of Space. The just Astrology hang, of Space. Yeah, just hang on a second, and I can show right, you. Okay. Uh, let's see where I put that. Might be there. I'm not sure where I put it. Take your time. Okay. Here it is. I'm not sure how to. There you go. You got it. Um, anyway. So this is an ebook now. This is an ebook, free ebook. It's also maybe on some of them are on Amazon, but you have to pay for them. Let's just get through. This was done before anyone ever did anything like this for astrologers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, talking about the radio sky, the shape that it has. Um, but then the, the whole book is just filled with uh, diagrams. If I can get to, I'm just talking here. <laughs> yeah, well, it's important to talk every now and then. Well, just trying to describe that. Let's just get into it. Then it goes into. Oops. I probably can't get to what I want to get to very fast. Let's see if I can. So this is not your general laptop? It is. I don't use a laptop. I use a desktop. Uh -huh. I, I don't go anywhere. <laughs> anyway, there's a lot of diagrams like this showing uh, this, that, or the other thing. Uh, you know, I, I've published all of these points in, in an astrological jargon, you know, so that we can understand them. Um, all the planets, all the details of all the planets, and then just, anyway, you, you can pick that up, Yeah. just explaining. I've published a lot of, um, again, that might be a better way to show what I'm doing. And if, if I go into Google and put the astrology of space, your name. Uh, on, on the uh, card I just gave you. Yeah. Let me see if I can get to it. Beautiful images. This is site. This is my one of my sites called Dharma Guru, Spirit Guru's Dharma Gurus. Free ebooks. These are all books I've published a lot on solar activity that I think is something the astrologers are really, really negligent of understanding. Uh, but these are all just free books. Uh, uh, what, what, Saturn Uranus. What what made you lift this heavy load and generate all these at no charge? Oh, you mean why am I giving away? Yeah, old. that's another way of expressing it. I should probably be paying them to read them. Right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, that way it wasn't where I was going. <laughs> and anyway, here's a book on, on Saturn. It's a really great book. Here's one, it's a whole way of looking at retrogrades that astrologers have never thought of that they don't bother to read. Wow. And then these are just all different. There's my local space, which is, you know, I originated. There's the astrology space. There's an 800-page book on Tibetan astrology, one on Tibetan earth lords. What about the nodal axis? Well, yeah. There's a, this is all on heliocentric nodes. Um, it's a whole book on it, including tables and stuff, how to use them, what they mean. But basically, it's a map of the chakras. Huh. Anyway, I've done a lot of work. Oh, yes, you yeah, have. I have. So, uh, you were leading the charge back in the, uh, the IT. Well, the only astrologer awakening. that I ever learned anything from other than I admire and love a lot of them, uh, but the only ones I really learned from was Theodore Lanchet. Uh -huh. He has a book called Cosmic Cybernetics. Huh. A brilliant book, and he was a brilliant man. I sent him his first computer in the late mm -hmm. 70s. Yeah, yeah. For uh, which he did, on which he did all of his research. Candy Commodore, or it was a Commodore Pet, two thousand and one. Um, yeah. Before the sixty four, and I sent it to him, and he did all of his weather research and stuff. Uh, but he's the only astrologer that I feel influenced me, other than you know Rudyard and Jones, and or, um, I got stuff from him, but I never went their way. I never team. became one of them. Uh, uh, I became. More like Lanshay. Uh, just hard to explain. Just, I'm just stating it. But he's yeah, yeah. the one I learned from. 
and, but I, I didn't learn a lot. I, I can learn a little, like I didn't read all Shakespeare. I got the idea pretty early from Shakespeare, so I didn't need to read. I wanted to go and write my own stuff, right? Which I have, and I've written a ton of stuff. You know, I publish on Facebook every day, detailed blog. Thank you. And I have for have you, have you, are you on that? No, no, but thank you for all that you have done. You and I interwove back in the early 80s. Yeah, I can't remember. I remember you, but I can't remember what we talked about or anything. I was doing a radio show. Oh, that's right. You I, did. And yeah. I had you, Rob Hand, uh, Jim Lewis oh, yeah. that I interviewed um, in that's addition right. to, to that's ministers right. and yada, 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 yada. That's and, cool. And uh, I'm, I've come back. I've got ten sides in the midheaven. I've come back to the media. That's my sentence. Eight sides. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Well, we're, we're the stars of the dragon are very close to those degrees. Okay. Uh, the, in the head, uh, the head of the dragon. Uh -huh. um, uh, but I'm I'm back to doing daily forecasts, two and a half minutes or so. <laughs> I've on, done that kind of thing. Yeah, that's video. That's work. It never stops. No, of course not. <laughs> it's just another day how, after. How could it stop? <laughs> well, well, I do the same thing with blogs. I blog. I attended a thing yesterday on predictions that you guys talking. I wish they would ask me to be part of it because they didn't seem to understand what predictions are. So I write, wrote on Facebook just to show what I do. So you can, it's not just Facebook's not just a joke. It's, it's serious. It's a serious discipline for me. But here, here's what, what I wrote today, which is just showing that I, I, I won by lottery. Fancy room. Oh, did you really? Fifteen speakers got one, and I. But anyway, if I continue reading here, what I'm really writing about here is uh, prediction and astrology, and I write a long little essay. I write an essay a day uh, on Facebook every day since 2000. Including the weekend. Every day. I, I at least on Friday I do Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and it's so nice to have. No, I a day where you don't I've have I've been to. doing it since, what, 2007. So, let's see, okay, here's another, we're just in my booth. But that's just about my trip, and that's about UAC. But uh, one on the, on the present. Most of what I, a lot of my blogging is, is Dharma. I've run a Dharma center for 30 years. And so and That was the Heart Library? Heart, well, Heart Center Library is astrology. But uh, I've become a really well-known photographer. Beautiful images. Yeah, I do. Nice images. So I'm pretty good at that. Now, why is it black in the background, which makes it stand out so well? Just because it has a black piece of velour behind it. That, that you put there? Yeah. Just so, I mean, I didn't have to. I could have left a bunch of stuff that was just distracting. But, or it right. can be better. But, you know, right. not necessarily. Gorgeous. Yeah, so um, it's the kind of stuff I do. So I'm a, what they call a, a bit of a polymath. Many different areas that I know of. And then I tried to do my best in each one of them, and I found out I did pretty good. <laughs> good. It, that's a good discovery. Yeah. So, anyway, that's what I'm up to. But this goes back, you know, if I were to look at uh, just. I'm trying to sell you a little bit on Facebook. I want to tell you it's not, it's, it's not just for. But the, these are just my articles. Oh. Lots of stuff. Oh. But each one of these is an essay. Oh. And I throw in a picture oh. for the people that don't read. Oh. And there's, there's those guys when I first did them. But I have uh, tons oh. of. Uh, that's what that we the, Was that the Pleiades I saw? Yes, right out here. Pleiades is the, to me the most important, just for me. It's right where my Uranus is. But these are just, here's books that I wrote on Dharma. I've been really doing this. So, you know, I have 40 some of these, 40 books. Jeez. You are a library under yourself. I am, no doubt. Anyway, it goes on and on and on, right? This is just personal. Now I'm publishing prayer so people can make little. What do you do to relax? This. That's oh, good answer. That is. Well, that took some work. Oh, yeah. To get to relax. What you, what you enjoy doing is what you 
want to do or have to do. It's better than, the, of course. You know, it's better to be in the groove than to be wanting to be in the groove. So yeah. I, I work, and I learned this from Franz Kafka. In his diaries, was a single line that caught my attention years ago. It said, "Everything I write, it already has perfection." And it took me years to figure that out. But what he was saying is that instead of learning to be a writer, he worked instead on his mind. He worked that, instead on on his mind. On his mind. Perfecting his mind so that everything he did already had a certain perfection. He didn't have to perfect it because he had perfected the way he did stuff. So that no matter what he did, um, had a certain signature. Mindfulness. Yeah, that's right. So yeah. I've been studying mindfulness now for, for since 1974, basically. Mm -hmm. And I met Chogun Trumpa from the show. So, yeah, I don't... I probably wasn't as into Dharma when we knew each other. I am deeply oh. into it now. Well, good. Yeah, I've been to Tibet twice and worked with my teacher who's 95 Tibetan, doesn't speak English for 30 years. <laughs> and one of his students, one of his you know, students that's actually been a little bit successful in learning what he's teaching. So he says, anyway, I'm telling you in a hurry what I've been doing. Since you, do, you do go way back. Clenched a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know the, when it precisely began. Of course, I wasn't recording times in the way that I am now. So, how do you tell the astrologer at the party when the when the brick comes through the window? They're the ones looking at their watches. Oh, <laughs> not me. I'm not that kind of astrologer. But I'm really sensitive to time. In what way? I'm always on time. I just I have time to be on time. If that makes any sense. Or I make any point. It's the only it's a logical place to be if I'm supposed to be there. I don't know how else to say it. Yeah, yeah. Well, you, thank you for setting the standard. But uh, it's a it's a difficult standard to. Well, this is tough. Who, no, love it, live who up wants to. to do this? But I want to do it. So, um, but I don't. You know, I don't have any students or anything like that. I, I'm not even interested. I don't think of myself as a teacher. I think of myself as a 1960s person that shares stuff. I want to share. I'm enthusiastic about what Aquar I want. Aquarian thing. Well, okay, I don't like that idea, but I mean, not, not, it's okay to say it. I, I don't dislike it. But I'm, I'm not just that Aquarian thing. That I'm, you're, you're not? I'm not just that kind of Aquarian thing, which I think there's nothing wrong with it. But I think there needs to be a little, something a little sharper than that to wake us up. A little sharper than Aquarius, so I'm satirizing. So maybe I'm, I have, I'm gonna do Aquarian stuff with a sad bite to it. Yeah, 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 something like that. So, Sag does have a little bit more of an edge to it. Yes, yeah, <laughs> I send it. What degree? Oh, that's eight. right. You said eight. Yeah, oh, that's right. Mm. So anyway, that's that's in a nutshell what I've been doing. And, uh, I'm retired and. Uh, grandchildren who do a lot of babysitting and <laughs> like that. There's so, a lot of wisdom in that. Oh, there has to be. <laughs> better be. How many uh, grandchildren? Eight. Oh my gosh. But some of them are closer than others. So that some I see a lot. Right. Five-year-old. My daughter's a singer, a well singer. So we get to be where she leaves trust her child because we love her and we'll take good care of her. And otherwise, it's very hard for her to find babysitters that she would trust. Her. Where do you live now? In Michigan. In, Still in, Michigan. Uh, yeah, Big Rapids, Michigan. Uh -huh, it's uh -huh. kind of north yep. between Cadillac and Grand Rapids. Yep, yep. So I'm stuck there. And, uh, we're pretty happy. You know, in general, getting old, had a lot of health trouble. Um, but I'm managing it pretty good. Good. As best as I can. Good. And it's not a lot of fun. No. I just came through this winter a hip replacement surgery. How was that? Uh, it's, it's wonderful to be walking again. Oh, what really? a pleasure and a joy it is. Wow. Oh. Oh, I, I, could, I would have to shuffle across the rug in the living room, and that was, you can't get your heart rate up. Oh, I think that's sad. Oh, well, it is sad. Yeah. And, well, I mean, I had, I had heart surgery 
TIA stroke in my eye and uh, huge balance problems. I couldn't walk. I looked like a drunk. It was really tough. But but you've got it back now? I got control of it. Well good. I got some of it back as much as I'm gonna get it back. And after that it's 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 management. Management meaning that being positive about it, using it instead of trying to compare it to what it should be or could be or was, that kind of thing. Can't think that way anymore. Just think of when I'm managing it, I feel normal. When I'm thinking normal's of, good. But the whole idea of new normal, that's not helpful for me. It's, it's like management is the word I'm using on that. If, if I'm in the driver's seat taking care of however I feel, which is not so good, lots. That's as good as it gets. But it's, it's just, you're part of it and you're making the choices. Or... I'm driving the car. You're driving the car. Even okay. if it's a jalopy. Yeah. <laughs> so that's how I look at it. And that feels better than comparing this car to what I, car I used to drive. Right. Which is pretty sleek. <laughs> but uh, not so good now. Well, I do with this feel as though I'm being given a, a second chance. You're getting a new car. I'm, I am getting a new car and I'm really appreciating it. That's important. I think oh. we learn something through those kind of events that we can't apparently learn any other way. Absolutely. So, uh, Absolutely. All of my problems have been good for Dharma. The Dharma's gotten very good through suffering and through going through shit that I would never choose to go through. Consciously. Consciously. But unconsciously, well, yeah. apparently, you did choose it. As I say, it was permitted. Yeah, yeah. Right? So, well, thank you for all you've done. Oh, well, thanks, but I feel it's I'm just talking to you because we know a long time. We knew each other a long time ago. Oh, yes, we did. And you have very little idea what I've been doing since. So, and I don't have any idea what you've been doing since. Uh, same, you can see some of it. I yeah, that's up, nice. I went from the radio into writing for paper. Uh -huh. uh, and um, every week I'd, I'd or well, let's say for six, seven weeks, I'd study Sumerian astrology and then I'd write about it. Cool. And then the Egyptian, and write about it. Tibetan? The, uh, not so much the Tibetan. China. I know a lot about it, yeah. Well, that's where that's where the book came from. Uh -huh. and those are the pieces all put together right. in one place. Well, that's cool. I like uh, that. Uh, thank you. It's uh, it's seen some things. I've, I've. Well, you probably know. <clears throat> of course, the thing is, archaeologically, the, the the signs weren't discovered until whenever. Right. Uh, and, and I'm seeing in the mythology that they go back much earlier than that. Makes uh, sense, doesn't and, it? And, and one of the images of which is that the vernal equinox, the ecliptic, passes through the horns of the bull. Okay, sure. It took about a thousand years processionally for the sun to move between the horns of the bull and so much Egyptian art has the horns with a solar disc in between. Pretty horny time. Right? <laughs> well, they're seeing their spring. That right. was the beginning of their agricultural year. Right. Well, that's cool. And, and, and once you see it like that, you go, of course. Of course that's what they were doing in all this deep, Egyptian... Deep images, right? Deep in, embedded. In the images. Right. Uh, in the Sumerian um, creation myth, I've really opened up some chapters, too, that is just so obvious. I had a astronaut in the front row of one of my Wyoming presentations stand up at the end of the presentation clapping vigorously and saying bravo, really? bravo, bravo. Because he'd seen the whole enchilada. Right? I, I, I've latched on to something. That's and cool. So, so anyway, it's been very exciting. Um, the, this book goes down to the Greeks and their astronomy, 2nd, 3rd century AD. I didn't want to get into the Christianity part of it because it's a, it's a whole different kettle of fish. <laughs> well, it's more modern. <laughs> it, is, it is, but Relative. the follow-up book is on, it picks up where the dragon leaves off and, uh -huh. and does the Age of Pisces. Okay. So cool. I, I'm in, obviously in the processional motion and, and watching when the alignments align with certain fixed stars, sure. uh, uh, et cetera, and what was going on then. So that's, um, haven't, haven't dropped the ball. No, you're doing. That's, I am. That's great. I'm doing the same the same thing. Just yeah, I'm, I'm not as voluminous, I think, as you are. Well, I'm just, that's the way I am. <laughs> oh, I understand. You're being you. What else can you be? You're right. <laughs> so what what year did we, what's your radio show? Well, <clears throat> it was 80 and 84. So uh, I had, had I done the whole music guide then? Or? That I couldn't say. I know that you had the... the 
charts wheel. I've forgotten what the name of it was. Everybody's charts all in the in the book. That's the brothers. That's the brothers chart. Oh, brother's okay. Book. Circle Steve book of charts, yeah. maybe. No, but I created the largest music database in the world. Oh my God. Which is now worth half a billion dollars. I don't own it anymore. It's called AllMusic.com. It's every recording from 10 inches on. I had 150 full-time people and 500 freelance writers. I did the same thing for, for movies. I have one of the two largest movie databases in the world. I don't own it anymore. And I did it for rock and roll posters too. I have the largest collection of that because no one else cared enough to measure all those things and photograph them. 33,000 of them. So that's just, You're a busy boy. <laughs> that, that's, that's real busyness because that's tedious stuff. Uh-huh. And then the largest library of astrology. I saw the picture of it. It's now in the University of Wisconsin. Permanent collection. Congratulations. So I've you're been being, divesting all my stuff in the last few years. You're being acknowledged in your lifetime. Um, well, so many people don't get to see that. Well, that's true. I, I don't have any students. I mean, I would like to have someone to challenge me on my ideas. And I don't have that. And that's painful. It would be nice if somebody asked me some questions that... You had to think about. It. I had to think about it, and then we'd have to talk about it. So yeah, that I doesn't know. happen. No? Yeah. So, but, you know, it's the way it is. And I almost died, so I could die any time, but uh, I'm still alive today. Although this is a little much. This is a... a little much. For you? Yeah. Really? I tire easily. And this is pretty wild. Would you like, is that a subtle way of saying it's time for me to go now? No, 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 I'm just talking. Uh, no, I'm not in a hurry, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to, when you go, I'll just go back to trying to figure out what I want to use for images for my talk tomorrow. What is the theme of your talk? My talk tomorrow is trying to explain to people how to use their astrology chart, uh, which is the chart of their karma, and another view, which is the astronomers view, basically, here in the century, uh, which I call the Dharma chart. Okay. So instead of looking at our personal responsibilities and situation, which is the karma chart, the traditional chart, we're looking at the archetypes of what's driving that chart, what's driving our person, what what's, what goes from life to life, and there's actually a chart of that. And so to try to communicate to these people who've never gotten it, because they only use one chart. Right. That's my challenge. But, you know, I've been doing it for 40 years just on that topic, and they've never got it, not even one. No one has ever come, like I said, and said, no, 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 you know? Yeah. And look over here, and I say, look over here, and they say, yeah, what, that's... Yeah. Well, the heli- this is based off the heliocentric model? That is. Yeah. That It's gained some momentum. I've, I've some. Seen, seen articles and things on it. There's some. There's some, but then they tend to use... Just the geo- tra- geocentric training heliocentrically, and there's a, a paradigm shift that has to happen. There's an initiation and empowerment that takes place that would tell me whether somebody actually had the empowerment because they would then be able to know for themselves. They wouldn't be. Would it be the way, they t- the way they ask? But anyway, what would you say? Would it be inappropriate for me to ask about? You're looking at my heliocentric chart just to... Push. We can look at it, sure. And, and what jumps out at you, yeah. or not. Yeah, we can do that. Um, because I, I honestly haven't gotten into the heliocentric side. It makes sense that it would work. Yeah, we can do... Okay. You know your birth information? Oh, yeah. May 13, 51. Just a youngster. 129.49, it's been rectified. 29. A, 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 129.49. 49 a.m. Oops. Well, what, am, what am I missing? It might might not take the seconds. Okay, maybe it's not. So um, make it 130 then. Okay, hang on. Let me get this. Well, that's close enough for sure. Yeah, for yeah. Anything. And uh, Munich. What is it? Munich. Munich. Okay. And that should get you there. Let's see. Yeah. 
That's your helio chair. Let's look at your. Does that look like your standard chair? That should. May 13th, 51? Yes. 1.30 a.m.? Yes. Central European time. Yep. Okay, so that's... That's correct. That has a huge empty space, which... Yes, it does. Empty spaces we try to fill. That gives you a certain angst or urge to fill that space. So it gives you a certain drive that other people may not have, but it's not particularly balanced, obviously. But you, you look very different. Your, your Dharma chart, your archetype, your tribe, totally different. Here's a mystic rectangle, which is a whole lot of ways of using where, trines. Where are you seeing that? It's this box. You're basically okay, got it. Trying trines. Um, yeah, there's a T cross. Fairly good one. That's a good one. So, yeah, so you are. Uh, It shows a great interest in, mystic rectangle means a great interest in, in psychology, to me. Okay. And the fact that it's linked to these T-squares, which has to do with practicality and actually doing something about it, means that you can use your mind, it does have, your mind, this pattern does suggest uh, mystic rectangle sy syndromes, hard to get out of, get stuck, hard to get out of getting in a rut. The rut they're in. Thinking ruts, psychological yeah. ruts. Yeah. But it's pretty it's pretty well configured and it's much it's much more balanced than your other chart. It still has one hole, but mostly this is pretty balanced. Where are you seeing the T squares? This one, which okay. is a really good one, 21, 25, uh, rough you know, nineteen. In heliocentric astrology it's the presence of the aspect, not how perfect it is. It's nice to be perfect, but no, no. it's not everything. So if I look at this one, another one slightly, 24, 26, 0. So it's 5 or 6 degrees off, but it doesn't really matter. The point right. is that, that right. it, you, know, if, if it, you know, if it barks, it's a dog, right? So if it's this kind of pattern, it's there, as opposed to not being, just not perfected. And looking at this, for me, huh? what sort of things get dropped? Obviously, the houses get dropped because you're not on the, the earth. houses and the moon. And the moon gets dropped? Oh, yeah. The moon's part of the Earth system. And so, but but the, the degree positions, I no, can't... No, they change. But they change. They all change. Just, you know, for instance, if we go and look at... Uh, well, your Venus is uh, here, two degrees Cancer, but really it was here. It was just because the Earth was skewed skewed at looking at the, at the solar system. And this is the helio. Right. This is looking at the helio, exactly. So, so say again about the Venus. It's I'm moved. I'm just saying it moved from here. With Uranus. But here was just an appearance. It appeared there, but the truth was from the center of the sun. This is where it was actually. Okay, nine Virgo, huh? So if I were you, huh. I would go and study this chart because I think you'll <laughs> like it a whole lot better. I know I did mine. Well, but, thank you. That's encouraging. That it'll give you more confidence in who you are cosmically huh. than, than this one. Because this is fairly one-sided, fairly limited in, a, in some ways. Very strong. Well, know. again, in, in what gets dropped, Venus and Virgo is what you were pointing out. I'm, I'm just saying that How much all of the, the planets move relative. You know, they, they can move. Venus and the Jupiter can move any which way because they're inner planets. The yeah, outer yeah. planets can move, like Mars can move 46 degrees, Jupiter about 11 degrees difference. It gets smaller. It yeah, get as you go out. Yeah, so right. there's a, I've got tons of books with all this lectured out. So check them out, Don. Yeah, no, yeah, <laughs> check them out. I mean, if you want to know, that's what you'd have to do. Um, but what I would do and what I did, that's why what I would do is what I did. I have a chart that looks a lot like yours. Here. Really? Karmically. Okay. I'm very different here, but still, this is a pretty dramatic and unusual pattern. Big, what are common. you seeing that's unusual about it? The fact that the mystic rectangle is flanked by two very prominent T-squares. They're all in synchronous. They're all all working together, as opposed to being one off. Yay! Yeah, so that means you use your psychology in a practical way. That should be your dharma. 
And what, again, what jumps out at me, but for your the Saturn at zero Libra, does the zero have any end of power? Okay, just a measurement at that point. Well, it, you know, it has, I don't think it has any power. It's a position. It's position, right? But I don't think. Yeah, I don't. I mean, it has to do with the tropical zodiac that is at zero, but I don't think that that or Sidera would make it. That's not what I'm looking at. So the heliocentric charts are the dharma of the right. individual. Right. If you're not doing anything tomorrow at 9 in the morning, I'm giving a whole talk just on this. Okay. So, I, I haven't even looked at the schedule yet. I haven't either, but uh, I won't be going to anything hardly except for my own stuff. But anyway, if I were you, I'd study this. Because it's worth studying and you'll be very happy about it. And also you'll be different. You know, once you grasp it, if you do, uh, you'll think about yourself differently and the way you represent yourself to others will change. So that's what I find. So are you leaning more on the aspects? Le leaning more on the whole chart patterns, the patterns that are in the chart. And again, there's a, that whole book uh -huh. that you could study. I'm not, I'm, I can't in that whole it. book, which book? Dharma chart. You know, that Dharma chart, Karma chart. We looked at it, right? Yeah, no, we did. Yeah, we did. Uh, not there. But anyway, all these books are there for you to download. Yeah, yeah, I understand. If you want. I'm, I don't care. I'm just saying you'd have to stop. But it's all laid out. Clear. Bless you for all you've done. I think that you'll, as I said, I think you'll get tickled to study your helio chart, which is like, because it represents the tribe of people you belong to, where you finally belong. And if you can recognize that, um, I think it's an initiation if you actually do. It's well, it would powerful. be, of course. Uh, because you begin to transfer, transmigrate your identity from the astrology chart you know to... Uh, to a different view of yourself. And you have two views to triangulate. <laughs> She's wanting to Yeah, we may have to end. Hey. Nice to meet you. You do. My name is Christiane Astri, and since 75, I've been following always the work oh. you did. Oh. With the uh, blue star. Blue oh. star yes. from Italy. Oh, yeah. Hi. Ladies, I'll just say goodbye and let you say hello. Sure. Uh, yeah. Thanks. Bless you. Yeah, Thank let me you know. What you do. Nine o'clock tomorrow morning. Yeah, if you guess. No, no, we no, no, okay. no, no, no. We've been talking for quite a while. You're a refreshing break. No, no. I'm not chasing you away. The new one? The old one? Only one piece. The new one. Have our own programs in Belgium. Oh, so I use both. Good. Nice to meet you. And yeah, we're about done anyway, I think. All right. <laughs> anyway, so it's cool. Uh, well, <clears throat> one, one of the again, just, you know, I've got a traditional mind, tropical mind. And so I'm seeing the ascendant, descendant, but not necessarily. No, no, that's not, nothing to do with that. There's, and, there's no ascendant or descendant here. Right, right. That's, I've got to erase a lot of things. Well, the, you just relax. The, the, the patterns. You don't really, you transmigrate. That means that pretty soon you will naturally gravitate to this chart when you start thinking of yourself. To what it's speaking to you about. Yeah, so you, there's no... No, no racing has to be done. It's all natural process. It's, it's more like uh, rolling over or something. It's just uh, easy. But if it happens, if it doesn't, it doesn't. But it could. And certainly with a chart like you, there's more reasons to look that way than not. Right. Because some charts go the other way. In, in what way? In the sense that they appear more interesting than they are. <laughs> oh, but you way. are more interesting than you appear. <laughs> That would be one way to look at it. Well, thank you very much. Uh, hello? Uh, kiss your, 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 your hands or something like that. Do you want to sit down a minute? Sure. Hey, I'm fine.
Actually, I'm the name. Yes, yeah. yes, the name and work. Actually, we know Don. You do know Don? Well, that's amazing. Yes, yes. I know him back from oh, the 80s. Ago. From the day. And I only met him when he moved to California a few oh, years ago. Wow. And I saw him in the Mountain yeah. Astrologer or something. Yeah. Oh my God, you're in California. You, know, you should come uh -huh. so, so that was when I got to know him. And what are you speaking on? To, to I, I, I'm uh, doing a, a one on the business track about preparing to have a client. So a client right? And you pronounce your name Linnea? Or Linnea, Linnea. not Linnea. Linnea is really. Property, but everybody just Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. 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 So I've been a fan of yours for a very, 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 very long time. Like my earliest days of printing ads, I'm a mountain astrologer. There's Michael Irvine, beautiful technical and, you know, oh, yeah. descriptions that I knew I could depend on to be accurate and to lead me in the right direction. So I really appreciate that. That's cool. <laughs> well, I'm programming. I mean, this is Blue Star, is amazing. Program I use that I designed and my brother programmed most of it. Uh -huh. and, uh, yeah. Well, just yeah, it's it's nice to be able to do astrology easily. It, it just is a godsend. You know, the, uh, okay. the, the software makes it a godsend. And where are you from again? We live in California, in the Bay Area. Oh, so we've been here for a long. What part of the Bay Area? San Mateo. Oh, kind of pretty close to Bay Area. You know that area? Not well. I mean, I used to, I spent a year in Berkeley. Oh, okay. Oh, right. So, yeah. So I know. Orinda, Berkeley, El Cerrito, right. and San Francisco, right. and down, down the coast a little bit. Yeah. Not, not much. That was in 1964. So. Yeah, that was a minute ago. Exciting times at Berkeley. Exactly. The beginning of the exciting times. So. It truly really was. That's why I took acid. Yeah. The first time. For the first time. 1964. Life changing experience right there. Sandoz acid. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So, Were you married yet? No. Oh, then no. No, because you've been with your wife very, very long. Forty-seven years. But you, so you were together, but not married. No, we weren't together until seventy-one. Oh, weren't you together then? No. Yeah, yeah, forty-seven. Do you, you do the math? <laughs> <laughs> not much on math. <laughs> Well, it's good to see Dawn. We love to be making it here. I'm trying to find rooms where I'm speaking. I'm still getting acclimated. You've been here for a day or two. I went here yesterday. Uh -huh. I drove and. Tired. I'm still recovering. Now. Actually, we went to bed at night. I went to bed before that. I was just me. But I'm still tired. Yeah, and, and I'm feeling the same way. And it's long walk. It's an invitation. yourself. You know. I'm just trying to rest up and do the best I can. That's it. Stay alive. That's it. Eat, eat good food if I can. Right. It's hard to do. It's really hard to do here. Uh, no, really there's a, you know, Whole Foods just two months out. Yeah. Trader Joe's. Yeah, my husband got Trader Joe's this morning. Yeah. 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 But the stuff here is pretty fierce. It's it incredibly expensive and not, uh, not, not user-friendly. Yeah. No, no. User -friendly. it'll kill you. <laughs> Mostly. Yeah. Mostly heavy meat. Mostly heavy meat. Yeah. 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 They warned us about that like on the shuttle. They're like, no. We eat meat here. No tofu. Well, Chicago. The worst was New Orleans. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. New Orleans. Nothing but fried food. It was also pretty freaking bad. Really? It was at Disneyland. It was at Disney World. And basically, you were pretty much a. There was no place to go. So you were pretty much a prisoner. Wow. Denver was a real great one. Yeah, it was good. Denver was real great. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's just good to see you here. I just kind of wonder how many people this is going to be the last. Well, it might be the last time I come. I know. Uh, I feel like maybe it's going to be long. I can't afford to write down. It's just been that many. It's tiring. It is tiring. And there's a whole lot of young people set here. Well, I want to I wanna meet them. I want to meet some of the young ones. I want to know what the heck they're doing. That's uh, interesting to me. It's, if anything. And they are doing stuff. They are doing stuff. I agree. Yeah. I'm really excited, actually. I'm really much more confident about turning the field over because that's the important line. This is true. So you're speaking more than once? I speak two times. What's the other one? Uh, on planets in just in just the sun, but blinded by the planets. Combust planets. Combust planet, yeah. Yes. I like yeah. that. Yeah. I'm big I, on the sun. Yeah. Uh, my, my my twins are with intense combustion. Like 20, they're 30 years old now. It was a study of their charts that led me to the US. Wow. Investigation of the planets. That's interesting. Yeah. It's, 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 it's
And so, uh, so Don, is he helping you? Is he your first sister just visiting? Or? He's just visiting. He and I know each other from way back then. And he was on a radio show and, and stuff. We're just catching up. That's really yeah, nice. Yeah. I actually have a couple. I don't know if it's the same radio show that he did. Uh, music, he did musical. Like he did one on Paul Simon and things like that. Still, you'd have, have to ask Oh, well, I don't know. Songs out there. So I have a couple of their tapes of those. Wow. Oh, there's my friend John. I just want to head up and see Nice to meet you. Lovely. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Thank you again. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck on the comments. Uh, yeah. 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 Y